I, I share uh, Joe's optimism here. I'm, I'm really not a, a pessimist. Um, then your, your question about sort of the short, mid, long term, the short term is pretty easy to, to predict because um, the a, current AI capabilities, the current AI machine learning capabilities are kind of point solutions. It's like the early days of the internet. You're like, um, it wasn't baked into everybody's products or daily lives, but there were aspects of the internet, maybe going and checking a website, um, that, that sort of started permeating our culture and our, our personal and professional lives. That's the same thing that's going to happen with machine learning and AI. The next phase, I think, is really going to be about it sort of becoming common. Right now, we're differentiating between software and AI. That's going to that's really going to fuse. It's going to be just standard course that every application you use has some AI machine learning capability. Well, why? Anything that involves speech, language, vision, hearing, you know, one day, you know, taste and smell, et cetera. Well, of course you would want to leverage the capabilities that AI can bring to the table on those fronts. And I'm leaving out things like reasoning and generative, et cetera. And so there'll be a blur between software and ML. It'll all just kind of be the same. The long-term is much, much less easy uh, to predict, but I'm very, very optimistic that it's gonna be more of an augmentation. I don't think AI is gonna so much take away jobs from people, but people using AI are going to take away jobs from people not using AI. And that's what the short term and midterm looks like.